Hey everybody, it's Troy from Roadside RC. On the workbench today, we have my ProTech 25 FPV drone from iFlight. Now, if I'm honest, this thing's been a little disappointing. So, uh, got it, flew it for a little bit right out of the box. Had some decent luck with it actually, especially considering that I am very new to this hobby. Um, then had an issue with the all-in-one flight controller ESC down here in the middle. Went up in smoke. Contacted iFlight. Turns out this is actually a pretty common thing with this uh, ProTech 25. Lots and lots of people are having issues with the uh, all-in-one flight control ESC unit going up in smoke. So iFlight gave me a discount, ordered a new one, got it in. It literally even didn't last the first flight, went up in smoke. So what we're doing here today is we have this all-in-one flight control ESC unit from Beta FPV. I contacted the folks over at Get FPV and said, this is what I'm dealing with. Looking for it, something different to put into it. So uh, what can we suggest? This is the F722. This is a 2 to 6 uh, S capable 35 amp ESCs in it that should be more than enough to power this should be very robust so we're going to give it a shot instead of this unit and see if it fixes it up for us as we come into the video i've already taken the top plate off which is pretty easy top plate comes off with just these six screws it's out of the way three nuts on the top of these screws and uh, the video transmitter right here is out of the way. We need to make sure though, of course, it's orientation and looking at where it gets soldered on because we'll have to solder it onto the new one. It has its antenna that we need to, that we need to watch. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the rest of these prop guards off so that we can get access to all the other uh, wiring in there. Now with everything off, what I'm doing is I'm looking at where does all the individual components solder onto the old board that came with this drone from the iFlight and where am I going to put that on this new one. The new one does come with uh, power leads, a capacitor, some screw hardware, some other leads that you can use and a link to support but it does not come any otherwise with any kind of manual. From Get FPV, you can actually see the wiring diagram on here, which is also good. And so, you know, looking at looking at everything, where it goes on here, marking on a sheet, where does it go, which wire gets what, and then that way I can map over where I want to put it on the new chip. We are starting to do something now. So the new all-in-one unit is in. I've even started to solder up the first motor in it. Old one is sitting over here on the workbench where it belongs, and I have an idea at least of for each item, for each wire, where it came from off of this one, what that item was called, and where I'm going to put it in the new one. So this is the part that I really struggle with, this super duper small soldering on these uh, flight controllers and ESCs. I, I just, this is where I super struggle. I have my Weller soldering iron with a fine, fine, fine tip on it. Um, I have my flux. I have, I have, I've in theory, I've got all this stuff. I just, I struggle to get to that really small stuff. So wish me luck. All right. Here is where I am stopping for the night. Uh, I have got everything soldered up except for the buzzer because, um, contrary to the wiring diagram that I can actually see on get at FPV, which says the buzzer locations are actually right here. Um, turns out these two things don't actually match. So before I plug this thing in, I need to check on beta FPV's website to double check the uh, wiring diagrams because they're not actually quite the same. But I think I have everything else wired in appropriately to where I can actually plug this thing into Betaflight and see if it lights up. So check it out. Look, all right, so we fast forward now, I don't know, 24 hours, maybe a little bit more, something like that. I've now had a chance to plug it into Betaflight, set it up. It connects to the controller. I confirmed I have a video signal. I have all the things. It looks like I might have done it right. So um, we are going to put it together and see if it is time for a first flight. So. Still doesn't look like a drone right now at the moment. You gotta get all the stuff screwed back on it and let's see what happens.
All right, so I am actually really, really happy with that. I mean, I have been honestly pretty devastated um, with this drone and my uh, the difficulty it was to solder that factory flight controller in and everything. And here we have that Beta FPV F722 unit plug it in i haven't touched any pid tuning haven't touched anything in it solder it in screw it in and it flies and it flies well obviously you can see in that flight i didn't do anything crazy right like i'm not i didn't do any flips i didn't do any rolls i didn't even go that fast i just did it was a first flight just to feel it out just to see how it does and it did the thing i'm really happy with that so uh, i look forward to getting it out and trying it a little bit more So as we flew this ProTech around in angle mode here in the beginning, flying this around, it actually feels really, really stable. It actually feels to me better than it did with the stock flight controller that came with it, which I would say probably people may describe it as a slightly more numb. Like, you know, it felt like a lot more stick movement in order to get it to what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do. But for the cinematic things that you would use this drone for, that's good. Like it is the overall flights, everything felt much smoother than it did with the factory setup. The other thing that you can now do though, is you can still flip this ProTech 25 into acro mode. You can go full acro and does it do the flips? Does it do the rolls? Yes, yes, it still completely does them. Now, obviously these flips and rolls are not beautiful because I'm still very new to FPV. So I'm still getting used to it. And <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit rusty if I'm honest. And so, but it does it, it'll still do the thing. And probably with a little bit of tuning in that mode, it will do even better.
very happy with it. Long flight time. I was getting 800 milliamp batteries on 4S. I was getting, you know, five to seven minutes just out cruising around the farm. Really, really happy with it. So, man, so we show, we installed the flight controller, did a test run in the front yard just to make sure that it flew, took it out to the farm, flew it at angle, flew it in acro. Man, it just, it does well. And I haven't even touched any tuning on it anything like that i am ecstatic i am so so happy to get this drone back up and in the air i mean i honestly if this wasn't going to work it was going to be a write-off i was just going to give it to somebody because i was so frustrated with this thing not running that the fact that like i now was able to solder in the new flight control and it works i am very very happy with so heck so i hope this was helpful I know there's a bunch of folks out there with the ProTech 25 all really concerned about this ESC, this flight control going up in smoke. It's happened to me personally, of course, now twice. So, hey, here you go. This is, this is, I think, a very viable option if you have it that you can do. Now, now here's the question. If you have not purchased an, a ProTech 25, is this a good idea? I mean, this is a $200 plus dollar drone, and now I've put an $80 all-in-one flight controller in it, right? For that much money, you can get some pretty serious hardware out there, you know? So you'd, you'd really be wanting to have this exact size, this exact, you know, kind of specs in order for it to make sense to go forward with it. But if you already have it, here's a solution for you. So, hey, my name's Troy. This is Roadside RC. We do all sorts of stuff here. Uh, if this was useful for you, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button down below. Really thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video. In the meantime, hey, come over and check out some of the other shenanigans that we have going on with some of these other videos over here, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.